24-7 comfort on call. Hello, Brad. Did you Greetings. want to do some shopping today? A little bit. I did a Google search for standing desks. They come in a variety of shapes, sizes, configurations. For those of you who aren't familiar with a standing desk, they are, as the name implies, a desk that you stand at rather than sit at. However, they're adjustable. If you want to sit, most of them have electric mm -hmm. motors. You can lower them and use a chair. Some you have to crank up and down. Some you have to pull out tabs and adjust. Mine but, sits on a current desktop and then you can elevate it. So you have one. I see others in the mm -hmm. newsroom have them. And you know, they are really kind of, I don't want to say a fad, it's sort of a craze because proponents of standing desks say there's a lot of good benefits. Sure. We all know that sitting for extended periods of time has been linked to heart disease, obesity, back pain. So let's look at these one at a time. First of all, as far as back pain, when you stand, it does force you to maintain a better posture. So there is some truth there. Did you ever look at the diagram of how you're supposed to sit in front of a computer? It is completely unrealistic. Oh, totally. 90 degree <laughs> arm on the mouse sure, looking if straight if ahead. My back is tied to a two by four. Uh, yeah. I can pull it off. Uh, I agree. I agree. Obesity, you know, standing does burn more calories than just sitting about 15 to 20 per hour, but it's something adds up okay. over an eight hour sure day. Does. Okay. But the big question has been, could standing just in one place really give you some advantage when it comes to cardiovascular health? And that's right. what today's study is all about. It was just published on the 16th of October. I read it last night. Good luck if you're going to read it, because boy, it took a couple of read-throughs <laughs> to figure it out. That's but, why you're yawning when you came in right? today. But don't worry, because I'm going to bullet point for you, okay? So first of all, let's uh, talk about the study. What did they do? They had 83,000 adults. That's a lot of people. Yep. Average age was 61, 55% women, 45% men. All of them had to wear a device that could detect their daily time spent sitting, standing, and or in motion, okay? okay? So they only had to wear this device for a week, so it was not necessarily at a standing desk, okay? But at least they could create a profile sure. of each of these individuals. How much did they stand? How much did they sit? Okay? So once they had that information, they tracked their health data for seven years. That's a lengthy period yeah. of time. Specifically, they were looking for incidents of heart disease, stroke, heart failure, circulatory problems, okay? So here's what they found, Chris. And again, they're just making some analogies that is standing at a desk better than sitting sure. at a desk from this information. Quote, over the long term, standing more compared with sitting does not improve cardiovascular health and could increase the risk of circulatory issues related to standing like varicose veins and deep vein thrombosis. Who knew? However, don't despair. I must have missed that in the ad. <laughs> right, right, right. The authors do have some advice. And really the takeaway is, no matter what you're doing, if you're at work or just at home or even in a car, sitting for a lengthy period of time, the big key is you've got to move. Don't just stand up, move. Take regular breaks, walk around, go for a walking meeting, use the stairs, it, just anything. The motion is what is important, not whether you're sitting or standing. All right, so what you're telling me is there won't be a run to the dumpster here from WBAY for all the people that have the standing desks. <laughs> I don't think so. All right, we're, we're safe. All right, Brad, thanks okay. so much.